One of the reasons I got this very special privilege is, first of all, I'm very good friends with the conductor, Angelina. <laughs> and, and I feel very privileged for that because this is a wonderful group of people. A little bit about myself. I am a Christian minister and gospel recording artist. I'm a high school teacher. I teach English, journalism, and speech. And I also have a business, Ishiba Communications, as a voiceover actor, which is one of the reasons that Miss Angelina, this is Angelina McLaughlin Heil, invited me to be a part of this very special concert. This is a wonderful time because this is the Edwardsville Community Symphony's first ever side-by-side -side concert featuring select Edwardsville High School Orchestra students. But first, I would like to introduce the Symphony's Board co-presidents, Melanie Haroyan and Keith Baker. We're also very excited to see all of you tonight. Thank you. So let me introduce our board. Please stand when you hear your name. Uh, this is Melanie Heroin, and I'm Keith Baker. Um, we also have Ella Hudlin, Tristan Voss, Herman Shaw, Prince Wells, Kang Keng Leong Huan, Belinda Karsten Wickham, Cami McFarland. Let's give a round of applause to all of those who work so diligently to make this possible. We have quite a few thank yous for this evening as well. Thank you to our concert master, Kim Gindler, librarian, Colleen Baker, stage manager, Jamal McLaughlin, sound director, Matt Geary. Thank you also to the Belleville Philharmonic, they are our sister orchestra, for use of sheet music as well as percussion equipment. Thank you to the Edwardsville School District for the use of practice space for the students who are playing in tonight's concert. And thank you to the Lincoln School Alumni Foundation and to Edwardsville Unity for doing the craft table this evening. We would also like to thank our season sponsors. Thank you to the Edwardsville Parks and Recs Department. Thank you to Joe DeVere at Country Financial. Thank you to the Bank of Madison County. Thank you, uh, a big thank you to Halpin Music for setup and use of their electric piano. They have been generous beyond measure. And I'd like to finish by saying we are an independent nonprofit organization and we do take donations at the table over there if you'd like to. We also have t-shirts and bags that have our logo on it. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you very much, Melanie and Keith. Keith is not only a co-president, but he is also one of the founding symphony horn players. His brother Kent Baker is also a musician, composer, and musical director who served in the United States Air Force Band for 23 years. Let's give a shout out. <laughs> Kent Baker arranged the national anthem for the Edwardsville Community Symphony. We are honored to have him with us tonight to conduct his arrangement. Please, everyone, rise for the national anthem and Kent Baker for the playing of our national anthem.
can do better than that. Let's give another round of applause. Thank you, Kent Baker. We have several special guests playing with the symphony tonight. These students have been preparing for weeks to join the professional players. We thank Edwardsville High School Orchestra teacher, Victoria Vumard, for selecting these top of their class students to participate. The Lincoln School Alumni Foundation was established primarily to work to enhance the educational opportunities of the youth in Edwardsville High School District 7. They are awards each participating EHS orchestra, orchestra students with a grant to go towards their continued musical education. At this time, we would like Mr. Herman Shaw, founder and president of the Lincoln School Alumni Foundation, to come up and present the students with the special grant. Micah Johnson, Janae Wright, Maggie Thomas, Kate Denson, and Ashley Kim and Elaine Wee, please come down. Congratulations, students. At this time, we would like to welcome concert master Kim Gindler and conductor Angelina. Come We have several Edwardsville High School graduates that play in the Edwardsville Community Symphony. For example, violinist Colin McFarlane. He's here and playing, and it's his birthday. So we need to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday. And as a minister, I'll say God bless you. <laughs> the Edwardsville Community Symphony will now play a piece by French composer Alexandra Luguini titled Ballet Egyptian.
What a wonderful rendition of that piece. Finlandia by Fini composer Jean Sibelius is one of his most notable works. You will notice several changes of moods during this beautiful tone poem. It starts tense and ominous and grows to bright and festive. We will now invite the string players to leave the stage so we can highlight. No, next. That's next. That would be next? That would be next. OK. Thank you. <laughs> I'm anxious. <laughs>
Excellent. And now for our next piece. We will now invite the string players to leave the stage so we can highlight the fantastic woodwinds, brass, and percussion sections in what is called a wind symphony setting. The first feature piece they will perform is called Salvation. It is created by Pavel Jesnikov, Jesnikov and arranged by Bruce Hausneck. Pavel is a Russian composer mainly known for his choral works. When you hear this piece so beautifully played, you may hear the instruments as voices in a choir because it was originally written for choir. Absolutely beautiful. Our next feature piece is titled The Hour of Wolves by Dr. Kimberly Archer. Dr. Archer is the composition professor at SIUE. Her fun and intriguing rhythmic compositions are a favorite for the Edwardsville Community Symphony to perform. The Hour of the Wolves was inspired by Return of the Kinds from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. We hope you will feel the adventure while you enjoy listening to this performance.
Is it me or is this concert going too fast? I could listen to this all night. This is beautiful. Now, we will invite the string players to return to the stage for the rest of the concert. Can we all just give them a hand as they come? They're working very hard and they're beautiful tonight. Next is a Tony Award winning musical about a father that tries to maintain his family's traditions in a changing world. Fiddler on the Roof by Jerry Bach teaches us about the hardships of Jewish life in a small village in the early 1900s through catchy and beautiful songs. We hope you enjoy the medley of selections from Fiddler on the Roof.
Wow, what a beautiful array of songs for that medley. Moving on to another musical, The Wizard of Oz by Harold Arlen. Among all of the catchy songs from that musical is Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, which celebrates the house landing on the Wicked Witch of the East. This version of the song treats the theme with different musical styles that will leave you singing along with Dorothy and Glenda and the Good Witch. does that bring back memories? <laughs> Before we perform our final piece of the evening in the Edwardsville Community Symphony, the board is selling t-shirts for $20, bumper stickers for $5 and such. Please, 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 don't you feel that these people deserve your support? Come on and clap your hands if you feel like they deserve your support. So you need to see them, show your support, and community pride for our symphony. We are a nonprofit, independent music union, able to perform with sponsorships and are not part of the city budget. We appreciate all support and help. Please visit our table to purchase a t-shirt and or a bumper sticker at the conclusion of the concert. 
You may have heard of the Strauss name for their Viennese waltz popularity. Johann Strauss Sr. is known as the waltz king. He composed the Radetzky March to be festive. It is traditional to clap and stomp your feet to the beat of Radetzky's march. Feel free to join in while enjoying this final piece of the evening. possible for you to give them a standing ovation. They did a wonderful job tonight. I wish I could put them in my car and take them back home to Chicago with me. <laughs> Again, my name is Ivana Shiva. I was very, very glad to be your guest MC for tonight. And on behalf of our concert master, Kim Gindler, and conductor Angelina McLaughlin Heil, and the Edwardsville Community Symphony. We thank you for joining us tonight, and we hope you return again at the end of next month, August 29th, for yet another great summer symphony in the park. Thank you.